the cost of alcohol is, well, it's very costly. It is going to cost you. It is going to hit your wallets. And the inspiration of this video was the gas pump today and the price that I saw on that mofo. Okay, that was the main motivation to make this video. And it's just a reminder of how much going out of all these nights that you go out on weekends, how much they're going to compound, how much they are going to hit your wallets like a Mike Tyson uppercut, okay? Your wallet is like a face that's not shielded and buying alcohol and buying VIPs and buying sections and buying shots for everybody is a Mike Tyson uppercut straight to the fucking chin full force, okay? I'm gonna get right into it. This is Terry Talks. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me and I humbly appreciate it. So, disclaimer, real quick, before I even start, I still sip occasionally from time to time. I am not a hypocrite. I'm not going to tell you guys that I'm 100% alcohol free i have not drunk in two months though and I, it's, it's amazing both my mental physical and financial health are up on the up and up okay so with that being said with that little disclaimer out the way okay because if you see me in real life and i'm, I'm you know having a little sip in the fucking corner don't pull out the camera like a paparazzi oh you feel what i'm saying anyway with that being said let's continue with it fellas and ladies too uh, mainly the fellas, because fellas, you guys are the ones getting the short end of the stick on these nights out, right? On these nights out that you go to these clubs and you stand around in a section making one big sausage fest, okay? You guys go out to these bars. You guys go out to these clubs. One of your homeboys says, gets the bright idea and says, hey, y'all, let's get a section. And you already know the section is $100 off rip. Okay, it's a hundred dollars off rip, and this is I don't I live in Houston, so it's the South. Maybe up north in Maryland, you know DC. Shout out, shout out to the homie Dewan, right? Or New York, or Cali, or wherever the hell. It's probably even a little more than that. Okay, I don't know, but in in any case, in any which way, you are coming out your pockets in in a bad way. Okay, so you know let let's just let's just put this all into perspective and just kind of calculate how much this is going to cost you, right? So you might have actually bought a bottle for the pregame, right? Because you ain't just going out sober. You got to be wasted before you get wasted. You know what I'm talking about? You got to be, you got to be thrown off before you go to the club and get even more drunk. So bam, that's like 20 bucks. And if you got corny ass friends that talk about, I don't drink nothing but Casa Amigos, that's like $30 and up, okay? I don't know how much Casa Amigos costs. I think it's $30, whatever. So bam, you, you down 30, okay? Then you gotta go actually go to the spot. And this is, if you are getting a section or something like that, you gotta pay valet first. Because if you live in a major city, more times than not, if you are in downtown or you're in a major metropol metropolitan area, you don't have to pay like $20 for valet. Bam, that's that's a twinky right there, that's a 20. You go in the club, you, you gotta chip in for the $100 section, bam. <laughs> You're already at like 50 bucks, okay? And then, that's not even the worst part. As the, as the night progresses, of course, if you are a heavy drinker, you are going to want to get more and more drinks, okay? You might actually order more bottles for your table, okay? And no, you're not a rapper. You are not Driz. You are not Chris Brown. Uh, Chris Brown don't really even make music like that, even though I rock with his stuff heavy, right? Shout out Breezy. <laughs> I like, like he's even watching this, right? You're not some kind of big celebrity, okay? You you are not some kind of big celebrity. So you bought this section, right? And y'all are guzzling. It's like 10 of y'all on one bottle, okay? So naturally, you're going to have to keep shelling out more and more money. And this is a big, so not, now you are in, your section is looking like a big sausage fest. And yeah, you're going to get a chick in there. You're going to get a couple of them in there. Hey, look, let's say, okay, for the most part, even if you do get chicks in there, they just boppers, right? What, what does boppers mean? 
Boppers mean chicks that just hog up free stuff and then bounce and then leave, okay? That's what a bopper is. That's one definition of it, okay? She's gonna, she is section bopper. So she gonna be looking at dudes who are, who have a section and she is going to have her, her trick goggles on. Beep, 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 beep. She's looking at your section, right? She's looking at your section. She sees you're having drinks, okay? You, uh, your, your friends probably looking thirsty as fuck. She goes in the section. She drinks up all your alcohol like an unwanted guest goes into someone's crib and eats up all of his food and drinks up all of his stuff. She's like Brahman and Martin, okay? She walks up in the apartment and helps herself to a damn sandwich just like Brahman on the show Martin, if you guys don't know that show, okay? Basically a freeloader. So she's gonna be up in there freeloading, flirting with you, making it seem like she's actually interested, but she really there for the bottles. And the bottle is going to run out quick. So what else do you do? You get another bottle. Now you are really wasted. Now you are trashed. You 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 sitting sideways. You leaning up in that thing. So now you don't even care how much you spend. Okay? Y'all are getting bottle after bottle, shot after shot, and you are spending all of this money <clears throat> in a club. It adds up. Fellas, this gas... And look, I... I'm not telling you to stop having fun, okay? Because this is a separate video. I still go out and I still enjoy myself responsibly, okay? And this means I go out and I don't even sip. Yes, I can go out and not even have one sip of nothing, okay? Because I know what it leads to. Fellas, when you start sipping, when you get to drinking, your in in inhibitions are lowered. What does inhibitions mean? That means your discipline. You are going to be spending your money willy-nilly. You are going to be up in the joint, up in the bar, up in the whatever event. You're going to be buying everybody's shots, right? And if you're on the more naive side, you're going to buy all of these chicks and her friends shots. Bam, that's, hold on. Each shot is $10, and she bought all, all two, two of her body friends, right? Bam, that's 30 bucks off rip. Guess what? They're going to take the shot, and they're going to tell you, thank you. Have a nice day, right? Then they're going to gracefully walk away from you and your group of thirsty ass friends, and you just spent thirty dollars on nothing. Still not mentioning the thirty bucks you just spent on the Casamigos, right? We're still not mentioning that. You feel what I'm saying? I'm still not mentioning the twenty bucks for valet and probably to get in. Oops, I forgot about the cover charge. Twenty bucks, right? And then let me go back to the gas situation. Now you find yourself spending 60 bucks on a mid-sized sedan just to fill it up all the way. And then guess what? Your friends are going to hit you up the following week to repeat process, right? Repeat process. You're going to get hit up again. You're going to spend another $30 on Casamigos because your friends are just fancy, huh? They're just too fancy to drink some regular type of liquor. And you just have to pull up with Casamigos or Duce or Henny or some kind of Remy. Because if you pull up with any old regular vodka or any old regular cognac, they're going to be like, ugh, I don't drink that. They're going to act like a bougie broad and act like they don't drink it, right? Not to mention, if you are going with a group of, of females, right? They're going to tell you some BS like, I don't drink anything but Casamigos. Then you got to spend that money for Casamigo. Guess what? When you step, when you fall off in the club, when you fall off in the bar, guess what? You're going to have to buy top-notch type of, of liquor now. Now, me personally, I've never been that type of guy, but I know a lot of dudes go through this, okay? Bam, you just spent 50 bucks on shots. Let's say the best case scenario. Let's say the best case scenario, you managed to pull something from the club, right? You managed to pull some, some drunk chick that's falling all over herself. You feel what I'm saying? Some chick that, that looks like she just tossed up some makeup on. You dig what I'm saying? And she been sweating through the night, falling all over herself. Now she kind of got a little bit of funk going on because she been sweating her ass off and it's hot heat, okay? I'm in Houston, so I'm using my, my surroundings, right? Now, now this chick 
is kind of smelling like Funyuns now, right? Now she has some kind of odor that is unsavory, is unpleasant. You done spent $300 just to take that home. Good job, bro. Round of applause. You really won in life. No, you didn't. You just spent $300 for no effing reason. You just bought Casamigos for some ungrateful ass friends. And hey, look, let's say you did buy just some regular old vodka. That's still 20 bucks. It's still 20 bucks. Your night out is going to cost you, okay? And these nights compound. A lot of you guys go at every single weekend. A lot of you guys are persistently going at every single weekend. It's like a bad habit. This is going to compound. Fellas, I'm going to tell you straight up and down just like this. The type of economy that we're in, y'all better buckle down. Y'all better miss out on a Saturday or two or 10 or 20 of them. Okay. I, like I said, I have not drank in two months and my financial, mental and health is great. I'm not telling you guys what to do. Hey, look, you could do whatever the F you could watch this video feel pumped like, yeah, alcohol is bad. And then walk out your crib and go to the bar and spend a couple of hundred dollars getting wasted, okay? Because I know somebody's going to watch this video and still do what they do. Y'all are human beings. I'm just saying for the people who are looking at their bank account, who are looking at their health, who are telling themselves, hey, there's gotta be a better way. Hey, look, the way I'm living, not really right, okay? I could be doing better with myself. I'm talking to them, folk. I'm telling y'all, taking a break off, taking uh, three months, four months off of that mess is going to greatly improve your financial status. It is going to put money back in your account. All that money, all that $300 that you spent going to the bar, going to the clubs. And before I get somebody that says, I only spend blah, blah, blah on, on a night out or whatever, that's still, you off. You off rip spending 30 bucks. Off rip. That's a cheap $30 is a cheap night. That is, that's almost like a night that you, you're still sober at that point if you only spent 30 bucks. <laughs> okay, right? But in any case, even if it was 30, even if it, I don't give a damn, that money that's compounding that you spent on pointless alcohol, you could have spent that, hell, you could have spent that on protein products, right? You could have spent it on a nice new shirt, on some nice new shoes. So when you do go out, you could be sober and you could be clean, you could be looking clean and focused, sharp, sharp as a tack. You feel me? You could have used that money towards a bill. You could have used that money saving up for new camera equipment. For instance, I'm using myself as an example. I'm a YouTuber, right? So I could be saving up for something else, okay? I could be uh, saving up for, for better, hypothetically, okay? I'm just saying, hypothetically, for a new mic or new lights, okay? That one night that I went out and spent like 200 bucks, I could have bought a, a backdrop light and a mic, straight up, and a mic. And I could have used that. See, this is this is what I'm getting at, fellas. Whatever, whatever that you are into, let's say that you're into fitness, like most of my guys are, that that 300 or 200 one let's let's say 100 let's keep it on the low end let's say that 100 you spent to go out in town find a 20 dollar parking spot and and spend gas right let's say that hundred dollars that hundred dollars you could have spent on, on investing in some fresh food and some fruits and some veggies hell even new gym attire hey look you you saving money on, on uh, from from spending from alcohol, right? You feeling good, you looking good, your mental is good, your skin is shining. Hell, get a, get a new Nike shirt, right? I'm, I'm a Nike head, I'm always finna be Nike. I don't rock no Vans, right? I'm a grown ass man, I don't rock no Vans, I rock Nike. So you could buy you a, a Nike shirt or whatever. If you do rock Vans, if that's your thing, cool. You could buy you a new Adidas shirt, whatever you want. You see, the, the thing, the point I'm trying to get across is Alcohol is going to eat away at your pockets like it eats away at your liver. You guys just do not understand how massive the cost is with alcohol. You guys do not understand until you've you've realized it at some point like, dang, my bank account is looking real 
bad right now. My bank account is looking very low. It is very down on its luck. You guys do not. And the thing, the worst thing about uh, alcohol is that it's pointless. There's no point to it. That is the worst thing. The next day you're going to regret it. Like, man, I just spent all that money and there's nothing positive came out of it. Nothing good came out of it. I know what some corny dude is thinking that probably, you know what I'm saying, is not used to getting too much play is thinking, oh, but I got some some coochie. I got some coochie that night, so it was worth it. I guess, bro, hey, look, go blow your money on, on alcohol every single night, every single weekend just to get you some used up nani, right? Just to get you a girl that's in the bar, that's in the club, that is falling all over herself, that is sweating, that is aging like milk because she's a party gal, right? Spend all of your money, all of your time just to get that. I hope you feel better about yourself. I hope you feel good. I hope you feel good that you spent $200 just to attract a bar slizzer, right? A bar thotty. I Give yourself a round of applause because you really won in life. If that is something that you uh, are proud of, that, that, hey, that's why I spent all that money on a section because I'm getting some, some play out, right? Give yourself a round of applause for doing absolutely nothing productive with your life and losing out on money, right? So anyway, with this being said, I hope this video helped. Guys, save your money. Skip out on a couple of nights. Save it for, for once in a blue moon, okay? I'm not saying don't have fun. I'm just saying greatly limited. Peace.